uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll be talking about uh, burn and initial. So we'll be covering topics such as um, the correct schemas, how to create endpoints, uh, database integration, authentication, and, and error handling. So this is what we'll be building. Um, so you can see here as well documented using Struggle. Uh, so you can even test out the endpoints. Yeah, so this is what we will be going through this tutorial. All right, let's get started. Uh, for this, we need to run one project. So I'm going to create a project called, book, called Books. Um, this, you can name this whatever you want. So I'm going to name it Books. But it's going to create that project for us. Then we can enter the project in VS Code. Okay, this is just a simple server. Now uh, it's running on port 3000. Um, yeah, so let's just modify this and create a basic application. So I'm going to remove that and add a new route here. So for now, we're just going to return books. Then we're going to listen on port 8000. All right. So if we start the application, and kill this, I want to just actually just, just open a browser for this. So yeah, I found I need to create a books. You can see here it is running. All right. Uh, so now let's create the rest of the routes because we're going to create a crude application for managing books. So let's create the other routes. Uh, let me just copy this. This will be a post. This will be a put. So that's fine. Then it will be a delete. We need to modify this to pass in the ID of the book. All right, that is done. So let's test this using using, using Thunderbolt Thunderland. So if I come here and change this to eight thousand. Get the first book, then we get the books. So if we test the other routes as well, should get the response. But delete, we need to pass in an ID. Right, cool, seems to be working. So now we need to move to another section, to the next section, which we are going to cover adding a database to, to our application. Um, for that, I'm going to create an, a new file called db.ts. So I've already created a uh, simple database platform for, for this demo. I'm just going to copy that and paste it in here. So this is just a basic um, class that manages our database. So we have a DB. Um, so when we create the database, we're going to create the DB, DB uh, initialize the DB. Then the rest is just a basic um, SQLite commands for getting and adding books. All right. So for that to for us to use that database, we need um, to use something called Decorate in in Alicia. Alicia is something that um, I mean, yeah, Decorate is a um, assigns the values to a context. So what happens here is that in here we do have access to the context. This is our context. And if we want to pass something here that we can access in the handler, we can pass it as a context here. Uh, for us to do that, we need to 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 tell Alicia to use it, to add a Decorate to Alicia. Then we can say decorate C then returns D. Then in our handlers, we can access that value. So if you want to access C, you just come here and just say C. Then we can return C. Simple as that. So let's test that out. All right, so it returns D because we assign C, the value D. So for us to pass the database to these routes, we need to add a decorator and assign it to DB. And we're going to import, assign it to the new book database that we created earlier. So let's import this. Now we have access to DB here. Then in here we can just say db 
the get box. Simple as that. So now if you go back there and run this, we get an empty array because we don't have anything in the DB. Right, so we can do the same stuff for the rest of the endpoints. So here we can say DB because we are this is a post, we're going to add a new book to the database. We need to access the body from the context. Then in here, we can say db dot book, then pass body as the as the book. So it is currently complaining because add book add book um, the parameter of add book is um is a book, and here it is currently unknown. So we need to type this, which leads us to talk about our next feature of Felicia called schema. Schemas are used to type our parameters in, in um our path parameters or query parameters. So we're going to use the schema from Elysia to type the body. So to get a schema here, we need to pass another parameter and type our body. So we're going to say body is going to be type object, which accept a name, which is going to be a string, author, which is a string as well. So now the error is gone. So we can continue to do the same thing again here on the update. We're going to get the DB, then we're going to get the body. Then we can say DB the update update book. So we're going to get the body, the ID from the body. Then we're going to pass in the book, which is name and the author which is going to be body. So it's going to complain, obviously, because we didn't type the, the body. So I'm going to go same thing here. So now we have this. Then for getting the uh, the book by the ID, we are going to do the same thing. We're going to get the body from the context. The I mean the database from the context. Then we need parameters from the context. Then from here we can just say db dot get. We're going to get book. So we need to provide an ID for this. So the ID is, needs to be a number, and obviously the, the Parameter that we get from params is going to be a string, so we need to pass that into uh, an integer. Right. So we're going to do the same thing for the delete as well. Okay, so now we can test this out. So we're getting the book, getting an empty array. So let's add a new book. Needs to use a post here. So add a book. If you go back and get the book, so you should, have, should see the book in here. There's your book. From there, we can also delete the book. Oh, let's first get the book by ID. Okay, we can also delete the book. All right, okay, so let's move to our next session that we're going to cover, which is um, authentication. We can use authentication to authenticate to add security to our endpoints. So to add authentication is very, is very, is very simple. We just need to install GWT and a cookie from one. So let's do that now. Yeah, install GWT and cookie. All right, that is done. Let's start the server. Then we need to come here and import those modules. OK. 
Okay, so now we need to tell Alicia to use cookie and JWT. Okay, so now in here we need to provide in the name. And the secret. Yeah, that's it. We're just doing that. We have um, added authentication to our endpoints, but it doesn't work yet. We need to reinforce that. We need to specifically when someone tries to get a book, we can check if they are authenticated or not by using JWT to verify the token, and we can get the token from the cookie. So now we can return this and okay now we can say await awt verify what and if we don't have the profile it means the user is not authenticated We can throw an error here. Right. Okay. That that's very simple. Let's test it out and see if it does work. So I'm just gonna go there and try to get this book. All right. Getting 500 and unauthorized. So which means it is working but we don't want to show 500 when the error is unauthorized. Uh, when we get unauthorized, we need to show 401. So the next section that we, the next topic that we're going to talk about is error handling. Um, error handling in Elysia works differently, but it's, it's simple as well. Uh, what we need to do now to add error handling, we can come here and say an error. So an error, we can, you can get the code and the error message and the error object. Then from here we can return a new response. So I'm just going to streamify that error. Okay, that's all we need to do. But we'll come back and modify this. So if you go back again and test this, so it's a 200. Even though it's an error. So the reason why it's written at 200 is because of this response. So we can specify the set of scores that we want from here. We can come here and say 401. If you go back there and test, getting a 401. But we don't want to hard code this. So we need to find a way of specifying the correct status code. Uh, we, and we can do that by getting the status code, by getting the status code from here. Uh, let's just do that now. So we can just say less status. Then the switch case. Okay. So we need to say this is true. Case code is equal to. Validation within 400. This code is supposed to be found with the return of 404. Right? Then we can hear, see we can specify status. Right? So if we go back here, it tries to get a 500, which is not the correct status. Let's go back and create. Um, our own custom error messages. Because in Elysia, we, you, we can customize the error message and throw our own custom error messages. So what we need to do here is I'm going to create an example. We're just going to extend the error object.
So actually, we can need this. We can just get this. then we can turn it easier to use our own RAM messaging, our custom error message. Um, so we need to come here and say add error. Then we can, name, we can name this 401. So we can do that. Uh, even if we come back here, it's still going to say unauthorized um, because we are not handling that error message. So what you need to do here is get another case statement here. It's for one. And we still have status to go zero. So if you go back here and try to access that, um, should be getting for one. So we need to throw this. All right, so we get the full one back. All right, cool. So the next step we'll be talking about is documentation. We can add documentation to our API using server. Uh, for us to do that, we need to install uh, the Elysium module for server. So we need to come back here and run add. All right, that is done. So if you run the server and go back and add server to our project. Okay, so now we have to come in and say Elysia use server. So after adding this, it will just add server to our, to our API. Then we can access that server on port 8000 for slash server. So let's just do that now. So if you come in and say server, you'll be able to see the documentation. So we can, we can add a book here. So the book was added. If we add the books again, you should see the book. All right. Okay, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.